I landed at every single drop spot on the map and ranked them in order to find the top five best drop spots for rank. I then landed at each of the five at least 10 times and I'm going to break them down based on four different categories to give them a final rank. I'll be breaking down each drop spot based on players. What we're looking for here is not a drop spot with zero players, but drop spot that has a nice number between one to three as this is the perfect number for rank. So we can still get some kills off spawn, but also means we can make it off spawn and get all them points in the end game. Number two is player skill. I mean, it's quite obvious that spots that have medallions or bigger PUIs are classed as W key spots and tend to have better players landing there. So I'm going to be basing the player skill just based on how easy it is for me to kill the players there as well as how many times I managed to survive to give an overall rating. And then the final two is loot and rotate. I'm just going to be basing loot based on the quality of the loot I got in all them games as an average and rotates I'm going to be basing it on how simple it is to get to each zone and I'm going to give each one of these a star rating between 1 to 5 meaning the highest score a drop can get is 25 stars but kicking it off with best drop spot number 5 and we have got lavish lair this spot is definitely the most w key spot on this list so for those of you that want guaranteed kills this is the place to land it seemed like no matter what the bus route was in all the games i went into lavish lair was just full of players each time i landed there there was a minimum of at least three players every single time but the player skill here actually was fairly decent but i can see why because the loot and the rotates on this spot are just absolutely perfect with plenty of cars and just a great position overall this definitely is a spot to give a go if you're looking for more of a w key spot with 28 chests and over 100 pieces of floor loot the loot here is actually very good so when i'm giving this place a final rating there's no shock here for players an average of three to five is slightly too high so unfortunately this is going to bring it down massively so only two stars for players player skill was also fairly sweaty as well so only land here preferably if you are a decent player but don't get me wrong there were definitely a few times where i ran to a couple drones here and there so i'm gonna give it a fairly average rating of just three stars for player skill loot was decent though with 30 chests and more floor loot than i can even count you probably no surprise here that we're giving that a four star and finally rotate is also coming in with four stars this gives lavish lair the number five spot for the best drop spot in Fortnite with a total of 13 stars. But that is no match for our drop spot coming in at the number 4th best drop spot in the whole of Fortnite. And this is Redline Ring. This new spot in regards to players is actually a big mix. There was usually at least one player here no matter the bus. But there were even up to 5 or 6 in some games. So unfortunately the hot drop players are going to be bringing down that rating massively. Which is pulling it down a little bit i think it's something to do with the medallion here it does tend to drag more people but in regards to the loot though i never walked away with anything better than green even though it's got 25 chest spawns and 83 bits of spawn loot maybe i just got a bit unlucky or maybe it's because i didn't loot every chest it just seemed like no matter what, I was just walking away with a green loadout. But to every negative, we always have a positive, And that means the players that landed here were just absolutely dreadful. And when I say dreadful, I mean we are talking king of the dro, Like drone level of drone like I was getting some of the freest kills when I was landing here. And with plenty of cars and like rotates just in general are fairly decent. There's no surprise here that this has took the number four spot. But overall, the play is landing here. Unfortunately, for when it is the hot spot, it's going to drag it down and we're giving it just a free star. But when it's not, the main drop overall this could definitely be pushed towards a four or four and a half star player skill is five stars for sure they were just probably the droniest out of them all at any spot that we've got on this list i don't know if maybe i just got lucky when i landed there for my games or just genuinely the players are just really bad but just give it a try and just see what i mean when i say how bad them players are next up loot loot is a big letdown here again it could have just been my unlucky streak but unfortunately i can't give it any more than two stars and finally rotate is dragging us back up with a four stars 
for the rotate. This gives Redline Rig a final rating of 14 stars, putting it just behind our number three spot. And for our number three spot, we actually have two spots joint for stars. But I think after really comparing these two and thinking which one is better than the other, I feel like this one just takes the slot lower due to the sheer amount of players compared to loot. And this is Grim Gate. This is a personal favourite drop of mine, but coming in with 36 total chests, 5 guaranteed, this is definitely up there for my favourites. The Swamp Boost stuff as well, a lot of people might think it makes it a bit scuffed, but I genuinely love fighting around the area. There tends to be at least 3 players landing here, up to 6, which can make it a bit chaotic when you've got like 6-7 people rushing around the spot. But the actual loot I walked out with was not the best, so unfortunately we are going to mark it down for that. But the player skill here was also fairly low. I mean, I don't think I died once at this spot, even when we have some of the most chaotic fights with about six, seven people. So that brings us on to our ratings for this place. Like I said before, three to six players. So unfortunately, that's going to bring it down to just three stars. Bang average in the middle there coming in with three stars for the players in terms of player skill i literally lived every game so we'll give it a four stars loot was fairly poor literally i was walking out with green stuff so bang average in the middle we gotta go for the three stars and rotate in regards to its position and how easy it is to escape especially with all that green boost stuff around i've got to give it a five star so this gives us a total rating of 15 out of 25 now moving on to number two best drop spot on this list we actually have my favorite spot in the whole of fortnite i know i said i like the other spot but this one genuinely is my favorite and this is classy courts coming in with 30 total chests and 70 floor loot spawns the player to loot ratio here is actually really good there's usually at least two people landing here up to around four meaning it's fairly low key compared to some of them other spots we're saying more likely than not you're gonna survive off spawn which is what we want when we're playing ranked we don't want to be rushing around fighting 100 people and then surviving maybe one out of seven games because you're just not going to go at points especially when you're getting higher towards diamond elite champion rank it's just not going to be beneficial the players that landed here were also absolutely dreadful in all my games. I literally lived every single game. And the maps here are very good as well, which is also a great bonus. And the only thing I can say that really let it down is the loot. I mean, each of the games, it was a bit hit and miss. And you'd always get like max shield and stuff. Don't get me wrong, like in that sense. But you're just not going to be guaranteed to be walking away with that gold shotgun. But it's on the very edge of the map, right at the top rotates are also poor so let's go to the ratings players we had two to four players so that unfortunately literally just gets us out of the one to three mark so i will be taking a mark off for that four stars for players player skill again i said that was awful so five stars for that loot was average green loot sometimes blue loot so i can't give it any more than a three stars and finally coming in with the rotates Again, it's going to be a fairly average three stars, giving us a total rating of 15 out of 25. And that means we go on to our number one best drop spot in the whole of Fortnite. And we're talking 73 bits of floor loot, 30 chests. It's the perfect balance of players to loot ratio out of probably any spot in the whole of game. And this is such an underrated spot and it's called pleasant piazza it's actually crazy the players that do land here are just awful at the game and there's a decent amount of loot as well and i was always walking out with really good loot and it all around just seemed like the perfect drop i literally survived every game there were even games where i was walking out with like blue purple even gold loot sometimes so when taking this spot to the ratings you best know this was fitting the 1 to 3 players category quite nicely. So, players, we're giving that a 5 stars. The players, again, that landed here, absolutely awful. They were like the odd player that was a little bit better. We'll give it around the 4 star mark, I think, is fair for this spot. Loot, when I landed here, at least, was very good. Definitely better than the majority of the other spots. So, that is a 4 stars for loot. 
And the thing that lets it down, again, is just the rotates. Just because it's on the edge of the map, it does mean you don't get third party though. So, I'll give it a three star. Anyways, if you found this video helpful, please support a small YouTuber by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and as a thank you, I'm going to respond to every single comment under this video. And if you like the video, you may also like this video on screen now.